Researchers report a new breakthrough encountering the deadly Nipah virus. Their experimental antibody is the first effective antiviral treatment for Nipah that has the potential for human therapeutic applications. Nipah and the closely related Hendra virus are highly infectious agents that emerged in the 1990s, causing serious disease outbreaks in Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Bangladesh, and India. Recent Nipah outbreaks have resulted in acute respiratory distress syndrome and encephalitis, person-to-person -person transmission, and greater than 90% fatality rates among people. We think that the virus is maintained in nature in bats. Uh, it infects um, humans, also a number of uh, animal species, including uh, pigs and horses. I think it's very realistic to think that somebody uh, with global travel the way it is now and how easy it is to traverse the globe in a day I think it's very realistic to think that somebody could, you know, be in Bangladesh, pick up Nipah virus, get on an airplane, be in San Francisco a few hours later. It's something that we, we're very concerned about. A research team with members from UTMB Galveston, the Uniform Services University of Health Sciences, and three groups within the NIH demonstrated at UTMB's Galveston National Lab that their human monoclonal antibody therapy protected non-human primates from Nipah infection. We are one of the few uh, places in the world, certainly in the United States, that has a biosafety level 4 laboratory. Our lab focuses on the development of medical countermeasures for a number of highly uh, pathogenic viruses, including Nipah and Hendra viruses. And um, we've been collaborating with Christopher Broder at Uniform Services University, and he developed a monoclonal antibody, a human monoclonal antibody, against Nipah virus. Human monoclonal antibodies are cloned from the same human immune cell and are all identical to each other. So they actually did a screen and identified people that actually had uh, antibodies that had natural Im immunity. They were able to take the cells and develop monoclonal antibodies. In this case, scientists were able to take the human monoclonal antibody M102.4 that protects against Hendra virus and use it to deflect the deadly Nipah virus. So we've um, been able to um, show that that antibody can protect not on human primates um, against lethal Nipah virus infection. And I think the novelty of this paper, what makes it unique, is that we had one group of animals that did not get treated until five days after they were exposed to Nipah virus. Um, typically in this model, the animals will succumb to disease around maybe day seven or eight post-exposure. So we're waiting pretty long into the disease course when they're showing clinical signs of disease and we were still able to protect these animals against a lethal challenge. M102.4 antibody has shown enough promise that the Australian government plans to initiate a phase one clinical safety trial set to commence later this year. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders.